not need a shipping scale to start selling on eBay. I know you hear all through YouTube. You have to have a shipping scale. If you want to sell on eBay, you have to have a shipping scale. You need to invest in a shipping scale. Well, eventually you do need to do that if you want to be a full-time eBay reseller. But if you are just starting, you don't have to have one to start. I didn't have one to start. Instead, I sold items around my house until I had enough money to invest in that shipping scale. You know, I was trying to make 20 bucks. I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on a shipping scale. I'm all for trying to start businesses with zero debt starting with what you have and not putting more money into it than is necessary. And so that's how I started with eBay. I started selling things around my house and saving the money I got when those items sold until I had enough to purchase a shipping scale. I learned some things along the way and I want to share those with you. If you are going this route, if you want to start selling on eBay without a shipping scale, there are a couple things you can do. You can just take the buyer's name and address with your package to the post office after an item sells and you can buy a shipping label there. That's actually what I started doing until I found out there's a kind of a better way. And that is using the flat rate system. Uh, you can go onto USPS.com and order padded flat rate envelopes like this or you can order boxes like this. This is a medium flat rate box. You can get small, large. Anyway, these are completely free on USPS.com. I would go on and order them today because it does take a while for them to send them to you. Uh, but there are so many benefits to doing this versus just taking your, your package and your item to the post office. And the reason is you can print a label online when you know how much the shipping is going to cost if it is flat rate. You can print a label online if you know the size of your package, the weight of your package, or if it is a flat rate package. When you print things online versus going into the post office, generally you can get a discount, whether that's on the eBay platform or on a different platform like Pirate Ship you can get a discount for printing online. So that's why everyone's saying, you need a shipping scale, you need a shipping scale, because when you know those numbers, you can get that discount. The other benefit to knowing those numbers is you know what to charge your buyer. This way you're not overcharging a buyer for shipping and you're not undercharging a buyer for shipping. You can charge them a flat rate and send the item in a padded flat rate envelope. Now I do recommend going this route versus the boxes and let me explain let's say you're selling a pair of jeans you can put them in a medium flat rate box but this is going to cost quite a bit more money than stuffing them in a padded flat rate envelope so if you're starting the reselling game as you're thrifting i would focus on items that aren't fragile and can fit inside this padded flat rate envelope that's what i would just start selling if you're learning about shipping and about selling on eBay, those are the items I would focus on. That's just what I recommend. You don't have to do that. So if you don't have the shipping scale, but you use a flat rate shipping, you are still able to print labels online and get a discount and you're able to charge your buyer the correct amount for shipping. So that is what I recommend. I recommend going that route, but eventually as you save money, invest in the shipping scale and here's why. Let's say you sold the t-shirt and it's it's pretty light, it's under a pound. If it's under a pound, you don't want to go uh, USPS priority mail all the time because things are cheaper if you can send them first class. And if they're under a pound, you can send them first class. So you could put your t-shirt in this padded envelope, but it's gonna cost you a lot more than if you purchase one of these poly mailers and send that t-shirt first class. So if you had the shipping scale, you'd be able to weigh the item and know, okay, it's under a pound. I don't want to send it in a padded flat rate envelope. I'd rather send it in a poly mailer. You can buy these or you can reuse padded envelopes you get from Amazon for first class packages as well. So if you had the shipping scale, you would know you'd be able to send it first class and you'd know what to charge a buyer for first class. And all of a sudden you're selling more items because Charging a buyer something that costs five to seven dollars to ship versus something that's like nine, almost ten bucks to ship is a big difference. So if you have competition and they're they're doing first class shipping, their items are gonna look a lot better than your ten dollar priority mail shipping. So this is where a shipping scale really eventually pays for itself. Um, I will link in the description box below 
the shipping scale that I use and that I eventually bought. But yeah, you don't need it to start. The only thing I would invest in, you don't even need to invest in these poly millers to start. I would invest in shipping tape though. This is what you need if you're selling on eBay. You want this to close up your boxes, to tape on your shipping labels if you don't have a sticky printer. This is the one investment I I say you have to have shipping tape. And I would not get this from the post office. It is really expensive there. I like to buy mine in bulk on Amazon. Again, I'll link to all this stuff in the description box below. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope this encourages you to just start eBay. If you're on the fence, if you're thinking about it, just start. Don't let the shipping scale hold you up. You can totally ship without one. I did it. Save up that money. Start building this little business. And it's going to be incredible to watch this little snowball when you start just selling stuff around your house grow into something big to where you can invest in the shipping supplies and you're still making profit. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I will be linking it in my shipping playlist with other helpful shipping videos. So make sure you go check that out if you want different shipping tips or want to hear more about my experiences and things I've learned along the way as I've been selling on eBay. And if you're new, I'd love to have you join the channel. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button on your way out and I will catch you in my next video.